Hey everyone, this is Shanana. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my mom's plants, my mom's garden, her little personal raised bed and container plants, as well as out in the field where they have more stuff planted, mom and dad. So come on along. Okay. Here is some Brussels sprouts. Hers is bigger than mine. Of course. Uh, broccoli. Uh, broccoli. Russian red kale. Or red Russian kale. Comfrey. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. That's the fig tree. Cut, was a cutting. Now it's a little fig tree. And look at these. Those angel trumpets. Um, <laughs> humongous. That's my mom, y'all. She can make anything grow. Uh, Bailey tree is big, full. Her lemon balm is doing better than mine. Actually, she, she probably got a cutting for me. And now it's just, wherever she plants it, it just do great. Okay, here's Amanda Villa. We thought was dead over the winter, but it came back. I'm hoping mine does. Just beautiful flowers. Um, this is the improved Meyer lemon tree. It's doing a lot better over here. And it's an orange, blood orange tree. It hardly grew for me at all. Um, in my house okay she has some more Brussels sprouts turmeric it's gonna be ready to harvest really soon this is I think these is beets are charred look at these collard greens y'all look at the collard greens and cabbage just bok choy she got some tomato um, plants look at this tomato plant look at all the tomatoes on it look at that one can you see that yeah um let's see let's go back the way we came oh this is her fish pepper plant too I wonder, look at she got. Her fish peppers weren't variegated, you know. Look at all those peppers. Yeah, I think we're gonna, what is that word? Uh, prune them down, put them in my greenhouse. Look at all those little tomato plants in there. She, she got it going on over here bok choy. Look at that bok choy. That one's about ready, huh? What you think? I think it's ready. Okay. Let's see what she's got over. These are lantanas. They're just growing crazy, too. Okay. This is a peace tree that's got to be planted this is a blushing star that's going to be a beautiful peace tree now look at her uh zinnias still going and then they seeded they self-seeded in here and i took a couple of uh plants but they didn't do as good over there i don't know what's going on what's the difference her banana pepper still got peppers on them look at that this is a oh hibiscus hibiscus and is that strawberry look like it um her her um what is it eucalyptus is doing good and her mexican petunia or ruella is doing good look at that just but my mama, see, she does a lot of composting place, too. That's what I'm going to start. 
what I have started doing. She got a tomato plant in here, still got tomatoes. But um, she composts in place. I like the, that setup right there. She needs to plant her sweet William or Dianthus flower right there. I love these. I had one one time that it bloomed all winter. But look, she got peanut shells in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be on it this year. And this is a coleus. It's been self-seeding everywhere. I got a couple of little plants. I didn't know it did, did that. That's pretty cool. Um, she has this pineapple plant that it's been growing for years. It hadn't put a pineapple on it, but it's so pretty to look at. Get some more of these uh, lilies and bring them over to the house because they're pretty even with the flowers or without it okay and this uh I forgot what the name of this one is with the red flowers it's like a honeysuckle but it's not forgot the name of it but they're pretty too all right P.S. <laughs> this this was not the fish pepper. I guess this is a jalapeno. No? What is it? It ain't a jalapeno. I thought you had told me this was fish for the longer. It might be, Mama. Some of them don't. I don't think some of them be variegated. This is the fish pepper. A little stunted thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a fish pepper. All right. My brother, they love turnip roots. Who ever heard of pit? Pit bulls love them turnip roots. They're vegetarian. No, no. This is my mom and dad's uh, mustard and uh, yeah, turnip patch, which they don't baby it, you know, and the bugs, some of them are still pretty, but uh, the bugs have been taking over. This is a big something to maintain. If you were going to try to maintain it. But this is where the, the greens usually are. These kind of greens. At this time of year. Take up the whole. Let's go up close and look at a couple of leaves. I'm about to pick me some uh, collards out in the garden. Oh. See how. Most of greens. Yeah. She thinks somebody's going to bring her. Some turnip roots. Okay, these, this is the collards and the green onions. Is some broccoli out there? Yep. Come on, let's look. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Getting dirt in my shoes. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I think that's going to be mine. Okay, well, let's pick some. Okay, I'm gonna pick me a few leaves. Look at that, tender. It's already about broke. It's two. How many should I get, Ma? About 20? About 10? 15. 15? That's plenty. Oh, look at this one. You is good to pull outside. Ow! Itch! She was all curled up on my foot. They are so tender. Okay. If you want to fix them, you can stop. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm -mm. It's easy to 
wash them when they real big. <laughs> wash each leaf individually. That's what I like to do. Tape deep going in the ground, but I've seen some people in pots that have some really big green. Is this broccoli? You can do all mm -hmm. well, You can mix collards and broccoli and cabbage, and it mm -hmm. tastes all tastes good. Ain't nothing eating them, that's good. Okay, let me get a broccoli with that cabbage. Oh, look at the little broccoli. Let's get one of these here. Here. This is going to be some good eating. That should be enough, huh? Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got me a mess of greens, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember, love ya.